Hello, my name is Elizabeth Shabella and I am a realtor with Coldwell Banker Alliance Realty in Whittier, California. And I would like to take a moment to address a common question that I get from my buyers, especially from the first-time buyers. The question is, is the purchase agreement a contract obligating me to buy a home or is it just a part of the negotiating leading up to an actual contract to buy a house? Let me quickly explain. Once the purchase contract is executed by both parties, the buyer and the seller, it is a binding agreement. It should not be perceived as a negotiating tool anymore. The negotiations take place before that in the form of counters. After the agreement is reached, which may take sometimes several counters, the counters get incorporated into the purchase contract and together they form a binding agreement. With that being said, the buyer's agent will inform their client that the purchase is still subject to a number of contingencies, for example, inspections, any type of investigations, um, uh, appraisal, review of seller's disclosures, and of course, obtaining a full loan approval. For that, the contract allows 17 days from the acceptance of the offer. If during that time conditions are found that are troublesome to the buyer and the seller is unwilling to correct them, the buyer does have a right to cancel the transaction and have their good faith deposit fully returned. Additionally, it may also happen that the appraisal does not come in at the sales uh, amount or um, the loan doesn't get approved. All these events will also allow the buyer to cancel the transaction without losing their deposit. Thank you for tuning in. This has been your local real estate agent, Elizabeth, with Coldwell Banker Alliance in Whittier, California, answering questions that matter to buyers and sellers. And if you need any further assistance or have questions of your own, please do not hesitate to call me at 562-888-3552 or email me at whittiercahomes at gmail.com. Thank you so much.